Throughout human history, water has taken on a state of veneration. From people in India who ritualize in the Ganges River to a Catholic baptism, water is, in a primal way, part of our identity. The UN was very explicit when they declared a human right to water, mm -hmm. but that did not mean that water had to be provided free. We assume that we're gonna turn on the taps and fresh, safe, remarkably inexpensive water is going to come out of them. Everything we care about is tied to the climate of the planet, including, especially, water resources. Every major source of water in California is already overallocated. Temperatures are going up and the demand for water will go up and evaporation will go up and precipitation patterns are going to change and storm patterns, the frequency of floods and droughts are going to change and are already changing. We're seeing snow and ice disappearing and we've waited too long to deal with it. The land in the Kuyama Basin has sunk about eight feet and this is not a unique phenomenon. On the west, the left-hand side of that picture, that is mostly water withdrawals for agriculture. That is probably not going to continue. I mean, I think the governor needed to act. It perhaps was too little, too late, and too blunt an instrument, but hindsight is always 2020, and an action needed to be taken. And one of the big limiting factors is going to be economics. Do we charge enough for water? I think we don't pay enough for water in general. It's probably your cheapest monthly or bi-monthly utility bill, less than your energy cost, less than your cable TV, less than your internet, less than your cell phone. Mm -hmm. And the more we pay for things, the more likely we are to, to use them more efficiently. We have in fact seen in the last few years dramatic improvements in agricultural water use efficiency as well as urban. Indeed, I think both of those plots on this is the official state water plan are understated in terms of the efficiency. The, the news is even better. And in California, we dump a lot of water in the ocean, treated wastewater, and that's a source of supply, but we've always thrown it away. Let's think about it as a new source of supply. Although this is an ominous topic, and there certainly is a crisis, there is hope. We have new technologies like toilets and washing machines and shower heads and industrial processes that let us do much more with the water we already spend a lot of money collecting and distributing.